he can't balance out his life. He, he can't keep his I mean, problems away from his relationship. Balance. We all have to balance our problems in life and our relationships. Yeah, but all that's why you got your partner. That so yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, if anything happened, that's why your partner's supposed to be there. That's why it's supposed to be teamwork. So if anything happened, you got your partner to but fall back on at to the pick partners, up the slack. Yeah, looking at the partners as, as if they're equal with the same biological upbringing. That's not, we don't operate like y'all. Y'all don't operate like us. I'm, I'm saying understand how the other person operates and move accordingly. Y'all keep saying, men shouldn't do this. Men shouldn't be like this. Men so should you, open you up more. Man you're, man. You're, telling, a you're telling a, a, a dog to be a bird. What's up, everybody? This is the Hood Analyst Podcast, where we talk about that real hood shh. Y'all know the routine. Like, subscribe, share. Um, we've been doing very well. We've been giving y'all a lot of consistent content. So we just want the reciprocation back. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Like the, uh, press the like button. We drop the full content on YouTube every week on Friday at 8 p.m. The, out, the episodes are about 40 minutes to an hour. And then on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of the social media platforms, we post reels, um, shorts, whatever the fuck you call it on, whatever, um, platform we post those every day all day multiple editors very good content you can learn something you can laugh um you can relate so you know like share subscribe with that being said it's your host kill body i got my co-host iso we both in that motherfucking mode if you in that mode i fuck with you if you're not in that mode get in that mode to stay in that motherfucking mode man it ain't nothing else to do out here shit is boring out here everybody doing the same shit you might as well be working be ambitious and get to the top with, with that being said, I got two special guests today. One has been here before, and the other is brand new. Y'all know what kind of conversations we have when we speak to the women up here. We don't have an artist in particular, but one of them was telling us, you know, both of them actually. One got her own business. She do her uh uh stuff that I already forgot. Skincare. She do a <laughs> lot of things. Um, and the other one. Says she's a poet, a writer, and she considers herself a philosopher. So hopefully they say some things that actually, you know, move us a little bit. Because there's a lot of people out here. When I'm moved, you can see it. But when I'm not moved, you can see it. So yeah. I'm going to let them introduce themselves, their Instagram, what they do and all that. Uh, Tiana, you can go first and then Precious. I mean, hey, you know, back again. He already said my name, but my name's Tiana. My IG is underscore babyface T underscore. And my businesses that he forgot so fast are I do hair and nails and I have a skincare brand and I also do clothes as well. Cool. Chop. I'm Precious. Uh, I'm a writer, a poet, a black philosopher. And I am also launching my own podcast, which you can follow on IG, Not So Precious Pod. And you can also follow me at By Precious. Okay. So we're going to get right into this. I saw, I don't know if you want to say the question or not. Negative. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I saw get, came up with this brilliant question. So I'm going to give him the credit. Ladies, how do you tell the difference between men in your DM? who just want to have sex with you or who want to take you seriously if you never open up the DMs? There's no way to tell the difference. Thank you. Okay. That would also be my answer. There's no way to tell the difference. Okay. Actually now, speak louder. when you open them, that barely even helps. How do you tell the difference? <sighs> That's mad hard, bro. Because you don't open none of them. No, I open and it's a lot of waste. The majority of the time, it's just a waste of time. So it's, you judge everybody like that? No, I'm not judging everybody like that. Like I could say I could talk some people. Listen, some people barely make it barely make it past like a five minute conversation. Some people have a couple of days. Some people make it to a couple months. But majority of the time, it does always end up in a waste of time because everybody pretty much is on like the same type timing. And I feel like a lot of them kind of take too long to kind of get to the point of what exactly you're here for. Like, don't tell me I'm acting funny when you came in my DMs. Mm -hmm. I'm following the lead here and I'm just only... Uh, reciprocate in the same way that you act in. So if you take in 10 days of texting me, I'm going to take 10 days of text you because I don't know what the hell you got going on. Okay, I feel that. I and that. I'm going to answer the question as well. No, you can't tell. And I would say to women, the best advice is deal with a man that shows you. Mm -hmm. he, he He's honest, he's open, he's upfront, he's direct. Then you will be able to tell. If a man is coming in your DM or even approaches you on the street with no clear intention... Just, just don't even give him no time of day. That's I agree with what you said, intention. Like, 
I'd rather you come in my messages. I post that I like poetry. I'd rather you say, hey, I, there's this poetry thing going on. Would you like to come with me? Then, hey, beautiful. Right? Like, I come forward with something. I'd rather gotcha. you do that. It shows that you actually do pay attention. So Correct. That you actually actually like me for me okay. and not mm-hmm. for and you're not what doing you this, see. you're not doing yeah. this to every girl. Right, because you picked that out just for me. You thought yeah. about me when you saw that. I I would like something like that. Okay. We got okay. some game here, Kale. All right, Perfect. all right, all right. <laughs> um, This one's for the ladies. What kind of man intimidates you? Women always talk about how men are intimidated by women. What kind of man intimidates you? Interesting. Probably never really thought about it. I'm interested. Mm, I don't really know how to answer that because in my opinion, I feel like why would a man be intimidated by a woman unless you want to be a woman? Uh, like I, I, I've never ever said I've never said men are intimidated by women, and I never felt like okay, a man good. is intimidated by me unless you want to be me. That's you know what I'm saying. Like why good. would you be intimidated by the opposite sex? That's good. We're good. not in the same race. Stay that okay. way. Don't ever say it. Don't ever say you men are intimidated. Mode. Good. That's good. But you still didn't answer the question at all. What kind but of you man? That mode, what kind of man intimidates you? You. That's what I'm saying. Like I, it's hard for me to answer that because like we're not in the same race. So why would I ever be intimidated by a man? Okay, maybe intimidate. Maybe. Too strong of a word. Let's say, uh, when I say intimidate, I mean a man that when you're around him or you hear his name, it makes you shy or nervous. Oh, okay. That's different. Uh, And see, that shit is weird because I have somebody around me right that like that right now. And I don't know why they make me nervous. And I've I've known this person since like kindergarten or like first grade. Because you like him. You have feelings for him. What is, what is his, what are his characteristics? Mm-hmm. What makes him intimidating? That's what I'm trying to say. I've she has around, feelings. Yeah, because I've been around him all but the time why? and I've never felt but like why? that. But why? But why? She doesn't know yet. Know. They That's never the know. They never know. They Guys, never know. <laughs> they never know. They never know. That's <laughs> my point. You see how she can't admit that? Like, <laughs> No, I literally said like, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I literally but I'm proud of you myself, for saying like, you don't know. I really don't know. Like, yeah. he asked me why and I tell him, like, I don't know. You just do. I don't know. Okay. All right. Precious? For me, like, I'm really not someone that gets shy and nervous a lot. But if I do, it's one, I have feelings for you and I see you in a different kind of way. And you inspire something inside of me. That is something that would make me shy and nervous. I rarely meet another person that inspires me or makes me want to look at something differently. So if you're able to do that, that is going to intimidate me because I feel like I'm a very hard person to crack. I'm very set in my ways. So if you make me think differently... You're getting somewhere. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. 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 (laughs) What can men get better at when it comes to dating? Interesting question. Communication. I I could yell that. I expect communication. I'm tired of that. Yeah, I was going to say, but that's like a, that's a two-way street because this, everybody lacking communication. But I feel like if you know you're a good communicator, if, but other people know they're a bad communicator, they say, I'm a bad texter. So then you expect that, right? If you're a bad texter, then obviously the person texting is going to be a bad texter too because that's what you're giving. What? But that doesn't mean that you're bad at communicating. Texting is texting. As far as me sitting down and having a face-to-face, face-to-face conversation is way more important than us talking over the phone because a lot of conversations really not meant to be had over the phone. Right. Okay. I just think, how are we going to get there? If you can't say, hey, how are you doing? If I don't even know, I want to know I'm on your mind, right? Hi, good morning. That's all I need. We don't need to text all day. I don't want to text you all day. Hi, good morning. How are you? I was thinking about you. That's it. I'll call at night. Hey, I just want to hear your voice before I go to sleep. Very, very simple. Man can't even do that. Yeah, but see, when you're saying communication, that's something that's very little. That just depends on the exactly. partner that but you if, have. Right, but if you can't even do that, how are you going to get there? What, yeah. is, wait, 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 what does wait, good what? communication consist of? I would Since say... Since you brought up communication. Well, I studied this in college on top of me, my own personal experience. I have a degree in communications. I think good communication comes from understanding who you're speaking to and speaking to them in a way that they can comprehend. understand and comprehend, right? Because sometimes you can speak to someone and you guys speak in English, but you're speaking a whole different language because you're not speaking to them in a way they understand. It's not about what just you're saying. You have to understand your audience and people don't understand their audience. Absolutely. I can agree with that. I've Me learned too. over the years that a lot of the things that I can come, I, I can that I say to women can come off cold, harsh, direct, because... That's how men I'm, come I'm, off to women a lot of the time. They're yeah, cold. I'm masculine. So um, a lot of the things <laughs> that I say are can, can, can be considered cold. But uh, to um, 
to piggyback off of what you said, yeah, I've acknowledged that about myself. It's not going to fully just disappear, but I work on it. I feel like women also need to do that as well. You need to understand that your man is a man. Yeah, it's a two-way street. It is. A lot of women are passive aggressive. And I think that's a, that's a really big part. And I think that comes from us not feeling like we don't want to annoy or nag, but then it gets to annoying and nagging because you didn't say what the issue was months ago and you have an issue for months ago and you don't say, Hey, this upset me. And now it's six months later and you telling him this upset you and now he's looking at you like you stupid. Why didn't you say this six months ago? That I understand. I've had yeah. men say that. I could see why that could be annoying because why didn't you say it then? And I always advocate to women to speak up. Most women do not speak up. They don't advocate for themselves, especially with their man. Hate it. Mm-hmm. That's because, because, and, and I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I think it should be like that, but you got to be with the right person. You got to be with somebody that has the same core values as you. Cause then you don't have to speak shit. No, nah, you don't have to communicate as I much. I definitely get what you're saying. But if I'm with a girl and I do something that she didn't like, and she don't say nothing about it, then I'm going to walk all over her. Cause you're yeah. not, you're not addressing the problem. Absolutely. To and her and basically even if you wait a long time, mm-hmm. then I know you're going to wait a long time for the next time. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. For the girl, it's going to feel like the guy is walking all over her, doing whatever he wants. He's not hearing her out, whatever. It's going to feel that way. And it only feels that way when y'all don't have the same core values. Right. If y'all got the same core values, it won't matter. You won't have to talk to him because you know what he's about. Y'all know what y'all about. You know that everything he's doing is for him and the family, you and the family. Right. So it's like, you don't have to communicate all of those other little shit and all that. The problem is most people get with the other person based off of only superficial things. Mm -hmm. And then when they get to a a, a roadblock, women are more naturally not as confronting as men. So of course they're not going to say shit about it. They're just going to assume that you can read their mind and you're going to change the behavior. And that's where the problem begins. And that's where it begins. So I would say communication has to be under, like she said, understanding each other. So... It, it, it doesn't even have to really consider too much speaking. It's just the understanding of who you're with. You know, that kind of goes back to what I said to you earlier. Well, what'd you say? <laughs> with your, knowing your partner, like, um, like if you do have, as men, y'all don't like to open up about stuff, which is completely fine. But if you are going through something and it starts to affect the dynamic that we now have going on, I'm only going to question you to open up or start trying to press you to open up because I know something's bothering you and it's now affecting our dynamic, whether you realize that I can tell or not. I agree. And I understand and I would want my woman to do that. But here's the thing. Here is the thing. (laughs) Most women can't handle the truth. That's what I'm going to say. I'm not. So when I I, but if it has I, nothing to do with you, there should be nothing wrong with the truth. That's what I'm trying to say. Especially that's what I'm saying. Like whatever you had going on had nothing to do with us. That's why it's best for you to open up because it's now starting to affect us. No, no. Because, because they see you in a certain light. When you, a woman is most in love with you, for, for me in my past, a woman is most in love with me when she can admire me. When she sees me as Superman. As soon as I'm vulnerable and she sees this guy as regular just like everybody else, She's going to start looking for other options. She's going to look for another Superman. But she's going to continue looking for Superman then. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because I'm trying to say like... That's why you have to be Superman. But that's not that's not sustainable. I think that's what I was trying to say to you early. That is not sustainable. Every relationship where I opened up early wasn't sustainable. Every relationship... my, My longest relationship was when I was the coldest. Because the roles were correct. And what happens when, and you, and what happens when I, I, you open up? Huh. They, was she happy changed. with your coldness? Like she was okay with it? She was feminine. She got to be a woman because I was the man. I don't know. This is very much confusing. It doesn't have speaking like it's that. Not yeah, that and, shit seems very when I, much And when scary. I say cold... Now I feel like I'm sleeping next to a psychopath every <laughs> night and one day your ass is gonna snap. Nah, <laughs> but think about it like this. Think about it like <laughs> this. That's very possible. Because y'all, y'all, like, y'all only... Yeah, talk y'all, to me. Y'all only seeing it from one side. Think about it like this. We, we chilling or whatever. We laying down, blah, blah, talking and all that. I can listen to, and I would say a lot of men can. I could listen to my girl. I want her to open up to me. I can, she could speak about everything. Her job, being annoying, all that shit. I could do that. I can handle it. But when it's the opposite way, mm-hmm. yeah, they're going to be like, open up. You know, I want to hear you out. I, you, I support you. Yeah, you that's, what the they, that's what they say. But then... A week later, two weeks later, two months in, you feel the energy that she doesn't see you as that nigga anymore. 
That's what the women don't go through. You could look at her and be like, she, she, don't, she don't see me the same way. That's why I advise Support. men not to do it. And if you do do it, make sure that woman is for you. Damn. You have to. You have to. Because if you don't, as soon as you start talking about your problems and shit, especially with social media now, that she, could go on her, she can go on her phone and find another nigga who she think is Superman. What kind of women Instantly. are y'all dating that's that you're I'm going saying. Yeah, like, I just, I, like, I, Personally, I have brothers. The and same women that's just like y'all too. Any women. Any women. It's not no, no any women because I, like, I, I'm really no. appalled that y'all really sitting here saying this because like, if I, I sit and I have conversations with my dad all the time and like say, I, I'm really shocked that that's really how y'all feel that y'all really cannot generally open up to y'all yeah, women. But that's your dad though. We're talking about I'm t- this nigga. First of all, if I'm gonna go, with. but that's what I'm trying to say. Like, if he has a woman and he can't open up to his woman, I tell him when he got certain shit going on. That shit is mad dangerous. That's what I'm saying. That's like you sleeping damn near next to a fucking psychopath. No, it's psychopath. not because y'all assume now you're about it, to have a psychotic no, break not. because no, you got all this shit built not. up and shit. It's healthy. It's healthy. It's not healthy. Look, make it. Yeah, that's why all the school shooters is mad. It's boys. Cause y'all can't, what? y'all feel like y'all can't talk to people, and then they say men got like the highest suicide rate because y'all feel like y'all I, can't speak I, to people. I agree that's with that. Start, that I makes you start getting dangerous. About, she's talking about repressed emotions. I how agree if with you that. Repress it, it gonna it comes out in a violent way. That's I agree with that, about. but I'm not and saying a lot of repress people are like that. I'm not I, saying all men are. I'm not saying every man like that, but there is a lot of men that I feel like that's really why y'all are so damn angry wait, and violent. Bro. I agree because with you can't that. Talk about your emotions. I agree with that, but I'm not saying. Hold it all in and talk to no one. I'm but saying, just don't say do. it to your girl. I'm, yeah, exactly. Because just don't if say I, it to your girl, exactly. Say it to somebody else. If I go come to, to you and tell you that go I don't have money, hey, listen, go to your no brother. More. Stop going to your girl about that I shit. I said that to somebody and I said, okay, so I said that. Like, I made a comment on the post. You know, we always commenting on these little videos on the internet. Mm-hmm. And I said, why don't y'all just, I asked the question. I said, why don't y'all just go to therapy if y'all feel like y'all can't talk to y'all spouse or y'all literally, I'm like, if y'all can't talk to y'all friends, y'all don't have no family members or literally nobody you can talk to and you really can't talk to the person who you sleep with every night, why don't y'all go to therapy? No, these, you Listen, could do that. these niggas ate me up in the comments and started crazy. Me, it's women like you, that's the problem. It's, that's why... I was like, I just, I just asked why can't y'all go to therapy? Nah, that's a good question. And now we the that problem, like, yeah. yeah. That's a good question. I'm you, not saying it's not delusional niggas out here. Yes, there are. But if I'm going to be advising men, I would say it's not in your best interest to open up to your girl. That's that's and then the, just trying you can, to direct men but, the right way. But tell them, like you said, you can't go to therapy, but you need to talk to somebody. Yeah, I always talk always, to somebody. Yeah, because some people, them, father, some men are taking it like some of the boys or some of the guys out here are taking that. You ain't folk, like we can't talk to nobody. We can't talk to our friends. We don't got family members. And if you oh. mention therapy, they're going to curse you. I'm talking about some. Well, I shouldn't have to pay a therapist. I shouldn't have to do that. Well, you just said you can't talk to yeah, your well, woman. Yeah, well, that's them. They just, I, they I don't want to do nothing to better their life. Yeah. That's how, what I'm trying to say. How like, do you form Megan? How do you form a deep connection with someone if you're not expressing like yourself or talking about things that bother you or things from your childhood? What what are you building a connection on if not based on I went through this, you went through this, and this is how we connect and this is how you make me feel better? What is the basis of your relationship? No, that's different though. That's a little bit different. It is. Yeah, I could could talk about the stuff in my past. But I'm not going to talk about my problem. That's just stuff that I overcame. Exactly. Right. You could talk about your past. You can talk about which is, and I'm not coming at y'all too directly for this. Yes, you are. But <laughs> in the black community, most women, they ain't happy. You could talk about happy. You could talk about good times. You could talk about anything. You could connect over anything. Why does it have to be problems that we have to connect over? Exactly. I I, under, I get what you're saying about that. And I totally support that. But I think when someone like myself where what I went through is the reason why I am. It's the reason why I'm soft. It's the reason why I'm able to communicate well with people. And it's because of what I went through. And I think if you are not willing to get to know me at that level, you're not going to know me. So how can we ever- That's a woman though. That's a woman though. I want to get to know you. I don't want to be with any man that doesn't want me to know him. You're a stranger. You can know, get away from me. You can I'm know, okay. You can no, know him, you, but you don't have to know his problems. No, his problems so currently. So I don't want to tell you my problems then because you're keeping things for me and now I'm going to keep things for you. And now we resent each other and now we hate each other. And, that's, and what, that's exactly how a lot of relationships end. And that's what I've been saying where women don't allow men to be men. You see how you punished me for being... But you what? don't have to be that way, though. Exactly. You're telling a man that he can't be the way he's... No, is. you don't have to keep your... If, I cannot be with a man that says, I'm going to keep my emotions. I can't tell you my problems. I would say, you know what? I think you should be with someone else. I'm not the person for you. I want someone that is able, I had a bad day today. This is what happened. And I think what the issue is, is that sometimes when 
you are expressing your problems. Women, we want to hear solutions. How can you help? I think men just want to talk, right? They get just want the to get the fuck out of here. You're wilding. You're I think, wilding. I think some men, I don't think all men are like you. And I don't think all men are, I'm going to close myself off. I don't think there's any reason to. Look. And I don't think, and I people ask me, why have you been single for so long? This is why, because this is the pickings. This is what I got to, I can't do that. No, I'm no, that do make creature. it, yeah, that makes why, it a little bit scary that y'all really are. Like, it does. It just seem like, y'all just seem like, like you said, cold in emotions. I, I, I personally can't be with somebody that's cold in emotions. Like, for all that, um, I might as to be by myself. But, that, but here's the thing I'm trying to tell y'all. That's why people end up with cats. Y'all think it's cold and emotionless because all y'all want to talk about is a nigga's problems. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't want to talk about the problems. I don't. And this is why I say, you don't have to go into great detail, but like I said, you could just say, hey, look, I got something going on right now. It ain't got nothing to do with you, but I got something I got to handle. That's, that's it. That's what I do. Yeah, yeah like that's me, good. that's not talking, high five me on that one. That's I fuck not talking with that. about your you problems. That's no, what I do. But, you don't, but, that, but that's still letting me know that you got something going on, so I'm aware. So if you get what I'm saying, so I know not to be doing extra shit or nah. I might even could do shit to make I'm you feel a little bit be better. Exactly. See, look, we're on the same page. That I'm is talking. That's still, to me, that's how it's talking. If I'm with any girl and she think that my life is 100% perfect, she has a problem. Facts. Everybody Facts. deal with problems. So if you going around, you thinking that I don't have problems because we ain't discuss it, you're delusional. Exactly. And as soon as I but start discussing them. But that's why she's trying to say, though, why you no, can't talk about them. Because most it's, women it's, don't it's, handle some the things truth is, well. Some things is better unsaid. I don't need to... I don't need to tell you just so you understand that I have a problem. What I need to tell you for? You so I, you, want me, to, you want me to come to you and, and tell you that I don't got no money? Every single <laughs> day, every single thing like, that happened that you got to come tell, but we feel like it's certain things uh, because it's like we can see that it's affecting you in a certain way. The one, the shit that's actually affect us. But like we were, it's certain stuff that y'all handle and it doesn't, it doesn't show. We and it's other this, things that y'all go through that it shows heavily. And, hey. But here's the thing. We were saying this earlier before the podcast started. If you were the man and his problems are leaking into your life and he's not able to be which I think is cold, which is strong and not show that the problems are affecting him. That's a weak man. He's not the man yeah, for you. He can't balance out his life. He, he can't, can't keep his I problems mean, away from his relationship. Balance. We all have to balance our problems in life and our relationships. Yeah, but all that's why you got your partner. That so yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, if anything happened, that's why your partner's supposed to be there. That's why it's supposed to be teamwork. So if anything happened, you got your partner to fall back on to the pick partners, up the slack. Yeah, looking at the partners as, as if they're equal with the same biological up, uh, upbringing. That's not, we don't operate like y'all. Y'all don't operate like us. I'm, I'm saying understand how the other person operates and move accordingly. Y'all keep saying men shouldn't do this. Men shouldn't be like this. So men you, should open you up more. You're, man. You're telling, I have a, question. You're telling a, a, a dog to be a bird. I have a question. So if you're a man that has experienced like suicidal thoughts or depression, do you think that is something you should disclose to your partner? Even if it's not something you... That's Deal something that's used to disclose yes. to a, pe- because, a therapist. Y- yeah, because it, it got too far already. Your problems has went yeah, too far. Yeah, you shouldn't even be in a relationship. You should yeah. be with a, ther- Focusing a therapist. Focusing on yourself. But, that, but you don't understand that happens, though. Like, yes. every day. Yeah, where and this is are- what I'm going to tell the people. Don't be in a relationship if you don't got your shit together. That's true. And go see a therapist. Yeah, don't bring true. that energy okay, to somebody so else's life. I got life. a question, right? So, y'all know y'all we be talking about when y'all in relationships, right? So, what if you... look? All right, I'm going to use a scenario because I've seen this in movies and I don't want to be or sound racist here, but the people who tend to like, you know, back in the day when, like you said, because men wanted to uphold their uh, image towards their woman, they didn't want to tell them when they had problems. You had men going behind their wives' backs, taking out their savings because they lost their jobs. They didn't want to tell their wives they lost their jobs. So now you, you, you don't finish off our savings. We don't have no savings. You don't took a mortgage out of our house. Now we about to lose the damn house. We about to end up homeless all because you felt like you couldn't sit down and tell me, hey, I lost my job. And what would you have done? Got a job. Yeah, I would have did something. Picked up niggas, some extra some, shifts. Right, or so, yeah, house. something. Y'all doing, yeah. like, y'all doing exactly what I hmm. said that most people do when we have these kind of conversations is go to the extreme. Y'all always do I'm not saying go, to, I'm not saying go to the extreme. This is something that men have actually done this. Also, I'm trying to say like, it's certain things that I feel you can open up about. Like if, especially if I'm saying if it's going, I don't feel like it's weak. If it's starting to, if it's seeping over and affecting our dynamic, I'm saying though, if it's starting to affect our dynamic, I'm saying you need to at least let me know. So if it's Absolutely. affecting us, I could correct that shit. So that way you can take the time out to focus on what you need to focus on yourself. Absolutely, but and that's I can an handle everything case. else. I don't feel like it's that yeah, extreme. You want every man to open up. 
No, you don't. Look, listen, the, like how I said, the, what you said is, listen, I got something going on. I need to handle it. Ah, whatever. You don't need to go into full grief detail about what exactly it is, how it is, whatever. Just saying that you got something going on. As long as I know it don't have nothing to do with me, that also makes it better because also, like you said, we are emotional. Mm-hmm. So then it, I might start assuming either he cheat because you're not speaking to me and you are mo- maybe moving a little bit different or because you're trying to take time for yourself and focus on yourself, you probably might mean be neglecting me, right? Emotionally wise. So now... Oh, I'm going to be in my back. Oh, maybe he's cheating or maybe he's this, maybe he's that. That's what I'm saying. Just simply saying, hey, I got something going on and it don't got nothing to do. But I've been said this from the beginning. No, but this goes back to what he just said. And that's why I said me and him high five to the extreme. But that's what I'm saying. It only takes a question. (laughs) It only takes you to ask a question. Hey, you've been acting a little bit different. Is anything going on? It only takes you to ask a question. It only takes you to ask a question. No, nothing's been going on. That's it. But most women can't handle the truth. And oh, that's what I'm saying. It's cheating. not the truth because you already said emotional. And that's what I'm saying. By the time we asking, is like I said, you're not neglecting me emotionally because you, like you say, we are emotional. So it's, I'm going to ask you because it's either if I don't ask you, I'm going to get in my head and I'm going to start thinking other shit when it don't have nothing to do with that and it has nothing to do with me. So just simply saying, I got shit going on right now. That's it. You don't got to tell me what it is exactly. Just say, I got something going on. Cool. Most it don't men, got nothing to do with me. That's fine. Most men that you've dealt with, they, 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 they don't do that. They don't tell you at least that they got something going on. By the time they tell me, it's already too late because the problems had already came up. And by the time they sat there, they said, oh, well, I apologize because it was me and this, this and that. But I'm like, bro, why you couldn't just simply say that you had some shit going on? I would have just fell back a little bit. Give you space. Yeah, I occupy myself with something so I don't feel like, oh, he neglected me with the time or whatever the case may be. Just say that. Me personally? I don't think that's something that needs to be said. That's like me telling you I have one right foot and one left foot. Everybody has problems. Everybody has so problems. I agree. I agree with you. Everybody has problems. I give them the benefit but of like the doubt. Saying, but like you said, we have to see both sides. So because I, we are emotional, so now you have to feed into our emotional side. We get you logical. We get you guys don't want to open up. You don't want to open up, fine. But you now have to think about the partner that you have. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I get Absolutely. you. And because yeah. we are emotional, just saying, still be saying, listen, baby, I got some shit going on. I ain't got nothing to do with you. Okay, I'm fine. Brag about my business. Like yeah, you say, I, I agree, with that. Me, I agree with that. And I can agree with that too, because I'm going to ask you, hey, you had a good day at work? Oh, no, this happened. To-. Yeah, I got those days too. And that's as most you getting out of me. That's it. Yeah, exactly. I have yeah. those days too. That's it. Yeah. I'm not going to tell even, you my problem. And this is another thing too. A lot of women can't relate to this. Even when you sit there and talk about your problems, you feel like yourself. You feel like a bitch ass. Yeah. Nigga. You're just like, nigga, what the fuck am I? Why Why am I sitting here talking about this shit? Yeah. I need to go It's like I'm looking for sympathy. Yeah, yeah. My, my best exactly. friend said he'll like, my best friend said he don't like when I be like if I have a problem. Like sometimes we do. Like as females, sometimes we do just be wanting to vent. Like not all the time. Like we said, we coming to y'all. We want y'all to give us a solution. And he said he honestly hate hearing that shit because he said if you don't want me to give you a solution, then why are you coming to me for ears, nigga? I understand yeah. that it's a man. I, I, I get both sides. And you gotta learn. I learned that as well. Like I said, I learned to open up and be able to listen to my girl because I like women and I know most women like to talk. So mm-hmm. I learned to listen. But there's a lot of men out there. I do understand that that. They don't want to hear that shit. And I can see why, because most women, they're just talking about miscellaneous dumb shit that's not going to solve no problems anyway. So I understand it. But if you want to deal with your woman better, guys, you got to be able to listen more because they going to talk. To a certain extent, too. And sometimes when you say things out loud, like even if you say like it's miscellaneous shit, sometimes when we say things out loud, the situation might hit different because you either might realize that either this person disrespected you, took advantage of you, or or you just don't need to fuck with this person, depending on the whatever it yeah is that you're talking about. Majority of the time I'm complaining is because somebody was trying to fuck with my business and that shit irritates me. Other than that, I don't really get fucked. Okay, all right, all right. Um, what are your instant turnoffs? Something that a man or a woman can do or has or doesn't have that's just like damn that friendly no. shit okay oh my god we elaborate. Not gonna ask him yeah. elaborate that friendly shit bro <laughs> what is what is what is friendly shit <laughs> not you <laughs> she's not friendly i'm not friendly <laughs> i've been very friendly this entire time okay oh right. yeah all right i'm pretty sure precious um, instant turn off me i have quite a few but <laughs> i would I, predict, say, I predicted that <laughs> Not for I predicted that. I would say someone that like if you're constantly bad talking the women from your past, like I hate my ex. Oh, she's stupid. Oh like, yeah, that's trash. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's trash on both Not sides. Not liking yeah. your ex is different, but always saying horrible, horrible things about them that I feel like that you still in love with them. So go with I feel out. like you just saying horrible shit about yourself then because nigga, are. you oh, was, so, you yeah, was yeah, with I them. Say, yeah, 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 yeah projecting. Self-projection, yep. Tiana, instant turnoffs. 
Think of the last man that you was messing with or whatever man you was messing with and it was just something he did or didn't do that just was like, uh, dried up the pussy and was like, I'm not even talking <laughs> to this nigga anymore. Honestly, it's very easy for me. Like, the instant turn off for me, I don't know why. Like, I have a thing with mouths. I've always been like that. Like, I don't like people that got like, I be calling like some people got you like, You what? <laughs> like, no, like, slot, like kind of mouth. Yeah. Like, crusty lips, crust around your lips. Ooh, like, yeah. like, I've been seeing people who be having plaque on their teeth and I be wondering, like, wait, have no, y'all wait, not what? been to the dentist? Like, do y'all not? Yeah. Sometimes, like, you don't feel that shit. Like, I don't know, like, just like I, a nasty mouth. I get, I went on a date with a guy and it was like good connection, but his lips were dry the whole time. I Ooh, blocked him after. I couldn't yeah, get past yeah. it. Could not guys, get past it. Guys. Guys. Put chapstick on. And I'm going to say not it. for nothing. This right here, you, you, come on, bro. <laughs> Girls this and is guys your best friend. With the I'm about to put some on right now. I'm about to put some on. <laughs> hey, yo. I'm about to put some on right now. <laughs> hey, yo. Um, it, it's the girl, it's the girls and the guys with the teeth, though, because I realize a lot of people, y'all didn't hear to go to the dentist. Y'all need to That's call. their so family's fault, though, because they didn't take them to the dentist as a okay. little kid. No, we are gro- we grown. We grown. Yeah. We grown. Y'all know how to take you care of yourself. Y'all you know how to go to the sure. Absolutely. Listen, you, you can pay out of pocket. It don't, co- it don't cost that much. Absolutely. And then everybody's priorities are in the wrong motherfucking place. Yeah, because place, y'all so. here Y'all got the money. Y'all just ain't putting the money in the Thank right you. place. Thank you. Right. Exactly. Um, this one's for the ladies. <laughs> if you were a man, what kind of man would you be? The man that's faithful to one woman or a player? I have a story about a storyline of how I would be. I, at first, I would like <laughs> run through bitches because I feel like that. Like, that's how men are. And I also feel like, and then after, like, I'd be a good guy and marry one girl and treat her like she's a queen and have a bunch of kids. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, Tiana? Uh, All right. I don't want to use my dad. I don't want to use my dad as an example, but for some reason, all right, my dad has 14 kids. My dad has seven boys, seven girls. And not for nothing. He an OG. You what? I felt, I felt <laughs> like, I felt like he low key cursed his, he cursed his kids like the opposite. I feel like his daughters is more hard and more cutthroat, and his sons is the ones that kind of end up getting fucked over. So I kind of felt like I probably would have been like a nigga getting fucked over because mm. of my yeah. Because mm. mm. okay. my brothers ain't really. Why do you so, think uh, so men get? I don't fucked over. Uh, why do you think men? Um, yeah, I guess. Why do you think men get play with? Yeah, exactly. Why do you think men get played with? I want to go back to your point. What you said about a moral code and people not having morals, I think a lot of men don't think about morals when they're dating. Absolutely. I agree with that, Precious. That was a very great take. I agree with this. I'm going to go in on a little segment with this because (laughs) this is very true. Men, you have to get your priorities in check. You got to live by a motherfucking code, man. I don't care where you get it from. You can get it from a man that you admire. You can get it from your father. You can get it from within yourself. But I'm going to let y'all know how I moved and operated in the world and it's that and it got me to a better place and it's getting me to better places even when I was a rapper my whole image my whole brand was a samurai who lives by a cold who has some sort of discipline if you don't have that when you meet a girl she's gonna walk all over you because you don't even got nothing that you got taken serious in your life so you gotta have that that's support you gotta have that you have to yeah I agree with that a thousand percent you ought to have ambition, some type of goal. You ought to have some type of see, some type of future for yourself. But I did realize that, though. Like, girls think way farther ahead than guys. Like, guys mm-hmm. be thinking, like, well, what am I about to eat for lunch? <sighs> Bitches over here, like, what am I about to be doing for uh, 10 years from now? Yeah. Or, like, a couple months from now? You now, don't even think about tomorrow. I agree and disagree with you because I think that men do think about the future. At least the ones who got their principles and disciplines mm-hmm. in check. Mm-hmm. They think about the future. For women... I wouldn't say they necessarily think about the future. I think that women are much more spiritually inclined and have much more intuition. So I think that it's in their gut to just know, oh, I'm dealing with this man. Is he able to take care of me for the rest of my life? They're not thinking of that on the, some do, but most women ain't thinking of that in their head. Like, all right, how is this going to be? It's just the natural way that they move. When they see a man that's working at Walmart, they're not even going to give him the time of day because they already automatically in their subconscious thought, 
he's not capable. Well, it depends on the conversation. Because now if I'm talking, now if you're working at Walmart, but we have a conversation, buddy could be working at Walmart, but we over here working in stocks and doing all types of other stuff. Meanwhile, he's still working at Walmart because mm -hmm. like I tell people, because like I am an entrepreneur and I do have my own business and I've been doing that for since 2019. I have not had a job. I've been doing straight entrepreneur work. That's all I do is how I make my bread. I, I tell people from my perspective, I feel like if you honestly should really have two. You should have a main source of income. I don't care what it is, even if you're flipping burgers. That's a guaranteed paycheck and not for nothing. Majority of all jobs come uh -huh. with benefits. That's uh -huh. what people forget. You want to have insurance. You want to start the little 401k, you want to whatever. You need insurance. You need health insurance. You got kids. I don't care if you're flipping burgers. That comes with health insurance. Uh -huh. Absolutely. So you it's might as well flip burgers and still have a side hustle and are still have your own business on the side. So that's what I'm saying. You could be working at Walmart, but baby boy could be having a whole side hustle, flipping cars. or have a whole nother business on the side. So absolutely. that don't mean it. I, it just depends about the conversation. Absolutely. Right. And I think it should be that way. But um, just like. Not everybody I, like that. No, no. It's not that not everybody's like that. It's the fact that I want y'all to have some empathy and understand that most men are invisible. It could be a guy that's working at Walmart and, and hustling and doing whatever he got to do on the side, but Nick, women are not checking for his ass. I'm going to say most until people. Until he gets to the destination. Do you mean most the people women are that invisible. he wants or the women or women? Because I mean, there are women that will date a man that works at Walmart and has no ambition, no dream. He just want to work at Walmart. That's it. Yeah. There are women that will he date lost. him. It's yeah. probably not the kind of women he wants. He lost. No, but here's the thing. They'll date him, but... It's, it's not ideal. It's not going to work out and they're not going to stay with him. So what's the point? He lost. That's where most men in society are at right now. That's why we have a... But if they both working at Walmart or shorty not even working at all, yeah. how can you even be so like... Like not right. for... Like I'm not... Okay, I understand. I honestly really do understand and I have seen it a lot though. It's a lot of females out here asking for what y'all can't even reciprocate. Like mm -hmm. you saying that he gotta have this, he gotta have that, this. And I'm like, Shorty, you don't even have your light. You don't even have yeah. an L. You can't even drive the car. But you here's can't the even thing. insure the car. Here's the thing. I mean, at least for me, I'm not gonna speak for all men on this, but at least for me, and I do think that it's men similar to me. I don't really give a fuck what my girl got going on. I want her to be right here and right here. I'll take care of all of the outer, outer worldly shit. But you take care of the home. You remain a happy, fun, outgoing, cheerful person. I take care of the hard stuff. That's what I want from hey, women. Yo. I don't really care. Pause. I don't really care for you <laughs> hey, to, have, yo. to be in college and have, like if you if you passionate about it. Yeah, that's cool. But me coming into the relationship, I'm just being completely honest. I don't give a fuck how much money you make. And I'm not and if, saying about if, money, though. It's just saying, though, like, if you saying that he got to do that, all right, if you got all the money, the least you could do is use my name to help you get more investments or use my name to help you get more loans or something. I could still be doing something. Yeah, like, of course. Girl, you don't, even, you don't even have an L. You talking about he got to have a car. You can even drive the car if you needed you to drive him around or something. You get what I'm saying? I, like, yeah, you can't even help him. I understand it, but still, I'm just saying it's still out of line with what men want. I'm, I'm trying to express what men want. At this point, we really know what y'all want because some of y'all saying yeah, I just some told of, you. This and well, this. That's what y'all be this. saying. No, but I'm saying lie. that's you. But some men don't want, some men want females to come with something or something. Gotta bring something. Something yeah. like with yeah. him. That's what you know what I'm saying. Got, that's yeah. not everybody. But y'all got that part already. We already know that y'all can work. We already know that y'all can open businesses. We already know all of that shit. We yeah. don't have to tell y'all that. But mind you, so you're saying every female don't do that though because if you have the female, she might got the money, but you want to know how she got the money because if you just, the only thing you could use is use your box to get money and that, I'm pretty sure everybody don't want that type of female. Of course, yeah, nobody Yeah, wants that. like you saying you should got to have this, but Not she might have it, but only know how to use this to work that. Okay, all right. What, what question were Sex you about? Sex workers that? do get married and have relationships, by the way. I I'm not saying that they don't. Yeah, I'm saying, that, I'm saying that's not niggas. for every man. <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's what I'm trying to say. That's not for every man because it is, it is harder. But as someone that is not a sex worker, it is still hard to but be But she's doing exactly what she... What they always do is go to the extremes. Most masculine men want a feminine woman. Oh. Yeah, there are dominant women out here who will take a more submissive man, but that's not the norm. And when I'm speaking to the world, I'm speaking to the majority. And if you, you even want to be uh, be um, honest, the, the the men who even want to act like they submissive, they want to do it behind closed doors because in their real life, they want to be their dominant anyway. And if they want to feel to be submissive or if they want to be bitched a little bit, they do it behind closed doors and they pay somebody to do it. True. I feel like the best kind of submissive woman is a woman that willingly 
even though she's dominant and she doesn't need you and she doesn't need you for anything and she willingly submits to you. I think that is the best kind of submission. But that depends Support. on the man. That, yeah, that depends false. on the yeah. man, though. I think that's true. That I, depends on, that definitely depends on a man because like does. I said, it's with energy. Like if you, like you said, if you don't assert and let the, let it be known and assert a dominance or at some point in a relationship, like she said, shorty gonna walk all over you. Of course, mm-hmm. of course. Yeah. I, I, I understand what she's saying, but I don't think that's the best type. I think, Let's let's use age as a factor. I know everybody matures differently, but let's just say a 35-year-old woman, college educated, uh, got her own shit, whatever, blah, blah, and she's willing to submit to me or a 23, 24-year-old woman who is willing to submit to me that didn't get all her shit together yet. I'm taking the younger one. I'm not going to hold you. You know, the younger girls don't be thinking how y'all think they be thinking. Yo, these girls be moving. I be doing hair and no, they, so they be want talking. anything. They be moving reckless. Are, you, oh, are you taking the younger one because it's easier for you to manipulate her? Yes. But that's what they're, but that's, but that's what they're yes. assuming. Here, that's what they're assuming, the, though. So say the silent part out loud. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this is what another thing. You always are attacking men for what they want. If a woman wants a man that's taller or a woman wants a man that's stronger or a woman wants a man that is better than her in any regard. That's that cool. That could fix stuff. That's, Listen, that, 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 wait, 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 wait. With that's it, cool. But to a wait, certain wait, wait, extent. Wait, 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 that's cool. That's her preference. I wouldn't say that she can't handle the world because she wants somebody who can handle the world better than her. That's your preference. I'm not that tall. If you, if I was trying to, to talk to you right now and you said, I, look, I like everything about you, but... You, and this has happened to, I'm pretty sure every man in this room. I like everything about you, but. I was going to say, because y'all all like about the same I, I like everything about <laughs> you, but. And, and here's the crazy part they'll disqualify you off of something that you can't change. I like everything about you, apparently but. You're, you can now. Wait. Yeah, true. I, I, apparently, I like everything about you, but you're not tall enough for me. You know what a man is going to do? A, a strong man, because I know it's weak men out there, but we ain't talking about them. I don't give a fuck about them. We're talking about the strong man. You know what he's going to do? Cool. Go on to the next woman. Yeah. Yeah. It's a human thing. You should. And that's exactly what a man is going to do when, when you say exactly what you just rejection said. rejection is a I'm part of life. I'm not going for the girl to manipulate her. I'm going to, for the girl that's going to be submissive and adhere to my program. Why so manipulation. No, yeah, it's that, not. That's basically it's what not, that is. That is no, manipulation. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> if someone, if no, it's you not. pause right no, now no, and Google not. manipulation. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let me tell you why. No, that's Let, me tell you why. Let, me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. And, and, and like she said, I'm a philosopher too. I'm a deep thinker. It's easy to get a woman to listen to you when you got that bag or when you're her boss, when you got a clock in for work. She gonna listen to everything she got. You gotta say because but everybody listens to that's the boss. a power you dynamic. A or, no, yeah, that, but, that, what, that, but why is that not thing. manipulation, guys? guys but that's, that's a, work. That nigga, I'm clocking that's that's that clock out. That's manipulation. You want me to get fired? We created money. We created all that stuff. That's why I said I'm a I'm a thinker. If you really think about it, my boss is manipulating me to go into work and do what he could do himself, but he's paying me to do it. But he. Hey, that's you know. that's making me do it for your labor. So you can for be your man- labor, yeah, exactly. You're getting for your it, doesn't labor, labor. it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Why not? Because okay. think you about can't it like this. That think right wait, 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 wait. Let me speak. Let me speak. Think about it like this. So you could be manipulated for money, but you can't be manipulated for the man for the nigga that you love. You don't love me if you want to manipulate. That's what I'm trying to say. That's not manipulating. No, it's just because the way you said it though. You you made it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like it don't matter her age. No, no. I said I'm gonna use age to make the example clearer just to show a, a true contrast between but a more when you submissive guys girl that, and a more argumentative girl. When you guys do that, that's what, that's what we're trying to say. When you guys do the agency, it comes off a little bit perverted because I'm trying to say, be, but you're, what I'm, you're, that's what I'm trying to say, listen, you're only saying, you're saying because she's younger that she is easier to swear or she's easier to get on board, which is not true. Y'all, she hasn't gone y'all through are, life fully yet. Boy, listen, y'all assuming that these young girls are so easy to go with the role and I'm like, y'all need to listen. Have you been listening to how the 21s and the 19-year-olds been talking? Nah, they crazy too. That's what I'm trying to, if anything, you, you might have a, you might have a better chance meeting an older woman that's easy to just go on board of anything and just okay with everything that's sorry that's okay with everything that you got going that's on that's super false but that no it's not that's, super false I know a few older bitches that could be manipulated and I'm, it's not manipul- It's not even saying like it's manipulation but like you, if you want the submission I don't think submission's got anything to do with age no, I'm, I talking, I'm talking no, about great. a person stuck in their ways 
Why would I want to deal with some when I know I want to be with a leader? You gonna get the young girl who's saying, not. You gonna get the young girl who not healed and who got daddy issues and who got to, to be burned right, through all okay, the niggas all right, because she don't right. give a fuck about niggas. Y'all talking about the age. Y'all talking about the age. Forget the age. We don't have. It don't have to be the age. I'm gonna deal with the woman who is open and thinks it's a good thing to follow my lead. But why is yes. the woman that's educated and has things for herself? Because why is she tend, not open? Because they tend to be more stuck in their ways. That was my point. The older Are you, you get, stuck in your ways. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I am. So why can't she be? Because she has to follow me. See, but I, okay, are so you, are you? What if she that, suggests stuff though? Like, would you be willing that, to listen if she suggests anything? She would you be, be open? Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying I'm, not, I'm, you a, just, okay, I'm not you, saying I'm a tyrant. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's you make it sound like it's a little dictator shit, but I'm gonna give you a little bit willing to listen. So, okay, cool. Yeah. I put, all right. I like. All I'm happen. saying is, I, I just so. think that men are usually demonized for their preferences. Y'all call us manipulative. Y'all call us all of these things. All I'm saying is. I'm a man of God. I believe that my woman should follow me. And I'm not saying women should follow any man. I'm I believe saying that though too. I'm I, saying I that you that should follow the country. right man. I just want to say, I do believe, and I would love to meet a man that's a follower. I mean, a I, leader. Can, I can follow and yeah. that is a leader, but it's very that's hard scary. to find that. And like I said, they I'm, will lead you to hell. But here's the thing. It's only hard to find because y'all call those men manipulative. Y'all push them away. Y'all are pushing away the very men who are the leaders by demonizing what they want no, instead of, just want instead of becoming like what they said, want. Don't Off camera. Majority of them don't even have no, like you said, ambition or don't even know anything. They got to get their priorities mm-hmm. straight. Very That's true. So very true. Find. Very true. Off camera, you said that if a man, if a woman ever tries to change you, leave out the bat. Absolutely. But you're, here you are saying that <laughs> we have to say while you try to change me. I'm not trying to change you. That's why but I said- that I, is, no, I'm not. You say she's stuck yes. in her ways and she can't be stuck in her ways. She got to be willing to follow your ways, but you stuck in your ways and it's okay. That's literally kind of what you just said. I'm sorry. No, I'm going to leave that woman alone. You could be stuck in your ways. I'm saying if you want to be with me. You got to change. Uh, you got to be willing but, to change. But Let me move. But don't change me. I'm but, not changing nothing, but, but, listen, <laughs> but listen, but listen, but listen. Y'all both want to. Y'all, y'all both just said y'all want a leader. Yeah. <laughs> Leading yeah. does but not leading mean don't mean you're changing about me. Though. That's no, what I'm trying to no, say. No. <laughs> Giving me suggestions Y'all going and to guidance. the extreme again. Y'all going to the extreme again. How? I'm not changing. Guidance is no, extreme? No, you said change everything about you. I'm not saying change everything about you. I'm saying follow my program. That's it. Just like job. when you work at the job, they're not trying to change your personality. They're going to tell you what to do and you do it. Or you're going to find Man, your own. Man, they hire who bets fits the position. Exactly. Ain't nothing to change. There's exactly. nothing to change. And that's what I'm doing with my girl. I'm, I'm going to be with the girl who Best fits this. So it's just, there to, wouldn't be much to change about her. You said what? You should make a brochure so that they know your program. You can just hand it to them so and they read it. And if they don't like it, no, I just see. let them know in the beginning of the relationship. I'm not tolerating this. This is cool. Whatever, whatever you want me to do, let me know and I'll do that. So when we do come to a problem in a relationship, pulling out the motherfucking contract. So this you was already supposed- discussed. Please give us one example of something you're not tolerating. <sighs> I'm not tolerating nagging. All right, I'm not, yeah, nagging is nagging. I mean, gotta that's go. what every man nagging gotta go. But I'm I'm gonna <laughs> use something simple. Let's say I get into a relationship with a girl, and I say I would like if you cooked at least three to four nights out the week. When she starts falling off on that shit, I'm lie. gonna say something about it. That's, that's the dynamic of our relationship. I actually but cook. That also that's a has to do more about who you are as a person because some people only eat out, right? True. So if you know if she only eats out, why you think she about to be in the kitchen making you food? He I'm not dealing with her. 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 And I relate to you on the same level. When you have a lot of standards like that, you have to vet people. You have to get to he know does. them. That's why I'm single. Yeah. Because most people don't reach my standards. Oh, nah, I bet girls that can't cook. Uh, but other <laughs> other things make it fall out too, like the attitude, the, the nagging, going, out, yeah. going out, dressing a certain way. Dressing I'm just how? saying, follow my lead. I have our best interest in mind. I'm not saying don't dress like a slut because it looks bad. I'm saying don't dress like a slut because when you do that, you're you're boiling up the primal urges of other men out there. You're going to put me in situations where I may have to fight. You're going to put yourself in situations where men, men might want to grab you. I'm saying it out of the best interest. That's why I'm saying it. Sensational. I can right. fight my, okay. for myself. 
<laughs> nah, fuck that shit. I'm little as hell. Myself. Somebody better find me. I am four eleven with a lot of my. Man, I, don't I will shoot you me. or listen. I got taser, shoot you or mace you. Pick one. I'm not putting hands on nobody. I'm little as hell. What the hell? All right, I got another uh topic. This is not really a. It's a question, but let's see if we can get, go on a tangent with this one too. So I asked this on the last episode, and this is to show how men always have to take accountability. How come women can wear fake nails, fake lashes, fake hair, fake whatever they want, and it's accepted in society? But as soon as a man puts on a fake chain, they come in for him. Fake jewelry, they come in for him. I personally don't know what a fake chain looks like, so I don't. Have, like, fake designer. Okay, um, fake designer. Fake Jordans. Like. Okay, to, fake Jordans. This is a woman say that's not the same I shit. Hate Jordans. Now they got toupees, they got dentures, they got all types of fake stuff that you could attach to your body if your body part ain't looking right. Hair and nail. Well, hair is different because like that's a whole different thing because. Uh-huh. Y'all can't, y'all be trying to say, y'all be coming for black girls for wearing weave. The texture of somebody hair, black people hair come in all different types of texture. So mm-hmm. coming for us for wearing weave is kind of stupid. It's anti-black. Just to let y'all know, I'm not the kind of guy that comes at women for wearing and doing all those things. Makeup, yeah, y'all can overdo that. But other than yeah, that, that, I don't really is care about that. Essential. Stuff. Makeup can What's, be bad for With skin. hair to it, with hair, you got to understand, like, especially if you are natural, you got black hair. I got a wig on right now. I got braids on him. I'd rather have six braids and a slap wig on and go than have to be combing my hair all the time. I understand. And honestly, I used to have a lot. I used to have a lot of hair in high school. And then when I got older, I shaved my head and wore waves because it's very hard every day trying to maintenance your hair and do your hair. That's a lot of work. Wearing wigs, it saves you money and stuff like that, kind of. I'm glad you brought up the word difficult or hard because, yes, that's hard. But what I'm trying to say and why I'm asking this question is think of it from the man's perspective. Yeah, it's hard, but you get to change your appearance and do whatever you want without being judged. Jewelry, with, fake a- name brand stuff and jewelry is different though because this is the thing. When y'all buying y'all jewelry, we know this is not our hair. Y'all buying, the men are buying fake jewelry and flashing it like, yeah, yeah, and trying to flash money. If you wasn't flaunting like it was real when you know you don't got it, that's the problem. Y'all trying to act like y'all got it when y'all but don't. But women flaunt their hair and, but we and do know, all those things but like we, it's real but too. But no, yeah. we know that, we, first of all, we all know it's wigs. We, the girls know. Whether If y'all don't know, then y'all don't know. But the, oh, we all know, we know when we have on fake nails. You know the difference with fake nails. You know when she got on weave. Sometimes y'all do know, sometimes y'all don't know. But Jewelry is completely different, though. You trying to act like you got money, hair, and something. Not listen. Very true. Wigs, y'all be thinking wigs be causing sick. Listen, some girls yeah. be wearing twenty dollar wigs. I'll, y'all be surprised. And some girls be wearing press on nails. They're true. very much cheap. But what I'm but trying you to... trying to act like you got money when you don't have money. We're just trying to. We have to present, go out and present ourselves in the world. You trying to act like you have so something. You're trying you to deceive don't. a man. Very no, true. No, it's not the same thing though because you acting like acting like you having money and having to pre- present yourself too because you have to go to work and stuff like that because you can't. Look, you have to look presentable too. So for a female, I'm gonna say from a black female, it, that also does play a part too. When we have to go to work and we have to sit in certain mm-hmm. and we have to sit in certain places, like for us, it's like a work thing and a presentation thing because people are you. We already getting judged because we black. Yep. Let you come in here with the nappy hair; they already gonna be judging you about oh because you have natural hair, all Absolutely. types of other stuff. Absolutely. So that's what I'm it's saying. For though. us to a certain extent, it's not the same thing. But because you're putting on jewelry and acting like you have money and you can afford it when you can't, I'd rather you not wear no jewelry at all. Just don't no, wear the jewelry I, at all. That's I, not. I, I agree with her, guys. Just letting y'all know. I agree. The, agree. We do. Yeah, agree. having the jewelry and having name brand, that's, that's not... Listen, y'all get pussy whether you have jewelry or not, whether you have name brand or not. Y'all can still get things and you can you can still get a job. You can you get what I'm saying? You can still pull bitches whether you have those things or not. It just don't look good when you know it's fake and you acting like it's real. You in the club, yeah, I got... But my boy, you know it's fake, so why are you acting like it's real? I, I would not... Oh, that's my bitch... I agree with it's you one thousand percent, but yeah. I'm also just saying that it's women that do the same thing too. Yeah, they act like the shit that they got is real too. Anyone I that puts deep value into the kind of clothes you're wearing and the jewelry you're wearing is probably not someone that has anything worthwhile to say. Agreed. Because so, men, they got two pants for men. Y'all got not, hair pieces too. Y'all got y'all out here getting your teeth wanna, done. But you want you want to date a man like that? Nah, so listen. We going into well, that. I honest, personally, I will prefer you be bold. I love a bald man. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't I know. Some guys, I don't know. Maybe it's like a younger thing, but some guys honestly do really get it. I don't know. Like, why they be trying to hold on to their hairline? Listen, y'all. 
It's some good looking bald head niggas out men men out here. It's some good look, bald looking men out here. It's nothing wrong if y'all hairline receding, if y'all going bald, just shave it off and just rock the baldy. That's completely different. Y'all assume that girls be wearing stuff because they bald. I have clients that they hair, they hair is longer than the weave I'm putting in their head. Mm-hmm. It's just ma- it's a lot of maintenance, it's a lot of work. And it's sometimes it don't have nothing to do with it. Maybe some girls are really out here changing up their figure and changing up their looks because it's manipulation. But at the end of the day, I'm going to snatch it off. If you you going to be around me, I'm snatching my wig off. You're going to see me without it anyway. She so it's not that much true. manipulation. On, on that note. Um, have either of you ever kissed a girl? Yeah, I like girls too. Obviously. How, like, what's the major differences between dealing with a guy and dealing with a girl? The passion. Yeah. Women are so much, they they open the door with their passion. Okay. All right. Um. You prefer that in a relationship? 110%. I'm okay. a very passionate person. Got you. Mm-hmm. Well, what about you, Tiana? Same? Yep. Okay, so with that being said, how did you know I like girls? I was in the second grade, and I had a friend named Catherine, and I remember <laughs> she had this cherry red lipstick, and I remember I kept staring at her lips all day, and I, read, I wrote in my journal, I kept thinking about Catherine's lips and then I cried when I wrote it and I went to my sister and I said, I like girls. And she's like, you're only in second grade. You don't know that. We'll explore that later. And then my first kiss ever was with a girl. And that's when obviously I was like, okay, I like girls. I actually like girls. I knew my attraction for girls way before I knew my attraction for guys. I actually thought I was a lesbian for most of my life. Okay. All right. So what do you consider yourself? Just bisexual? I am pansexual. I like everything. If you can make me happy and make me smile, I'm with it. Okay. Very intellectual. What about you, Tiana? Oh, um, Bisexual, you I, like niggas? I what, mean, what? I just be saying I like what I like. I don't hold like the whole title shit because then that shit start getting mad confusing and shit. But um, I did like my first everything was with a female and I did like girls first. Unfortunately, I just so happened to be Jamaican and my mom beat the shit out of me. Ooh. So that's They're the only reason. Yeah, I think I honestly, I honestly felt, I honestly felt like if my mom would have never did that or if that situation never occurred, I probably would have never talked to niggas in the first place. Mm. Mm. But at the end of the day, everybody irritates me. So, uh, agree, <laughs> I agree with that. I like, I like, I think like, ugh. I love people, but at the same time, I was like, oh my god, I could be so intense and annoying. I like looking at men, like just looking from a distance, and that's it. Like, see, I feel like, see, that's the thing. Like, I feel like female is like females are more uh, pleasant to look at. Absolutely, but if I want to, if I want to be, if I want to be held or something, from guys. Yeah, like I feel like female. I feel like females are just way I'm more. I'm saying I think to, like, women are attracted. I think most women are attracted to women too. Yeah, I just I feel like we look better. Like not not that we look better, but like body wise though, I just feel like it's just more beauty is a commodity. Yeah, like it's just more effectuation with a female's body. Like it's not that much effectuation with men's body. Like I rather look at a bunch of naked females than a bunch of naked men. But yeah. my thing of it is, a guy is think a guy is somewhere out there in the world thinking the same thing. I'd rather look at a guy than look at a girl. Oh, <laughs> no, that's fine. Like, you know, I it's not that. it's nothing wrong with that. Like, you know, Negative. to each his own. I love that. You love I love no. bisexual no. men. If you're bisexual, hit my DMs. Thank you. Oh, you, I, you, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speak would on that topic. Lie. You already called me. I don't hmm? would you, you fuck two men at the same scary. time? Ooh, no. If they're both like, if they're like bisexual and they're gonna get it on with each other, because I want to watch them do it, yeah. But you're not two straight men. You're not in on that though. I want to watch. I want to watch two men have sex. That looked painful. I just thinking about it. I don't even want. Hey yo, I, I, this sound painful. I don't want. Hey to yo, that. what are we talking about? I don't here? know. Hey I mean, yo, you guys asked me a question. I said well, if, if it's two question. bisexual men and they're gonna get it on with each other, then yes. No, no, but he's saying, would you put yourself in that situation? What no, I'm not no, allowing two no. men to touch me at the same time. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. <laughs> I love how she talks. Wait, wait, Never but allow wait, that. cause I'm a little bit interested in this AO shit, yo. So you would she wanna you watch would two, deal with a bisexual man, man that had it. sex with a man before. I have. I have dated bisexual men. <laughs> <laughs> Next did, question. How did that how did that go? Like, what, uh, I mean, I understand you're attracted to Yeah, you like what you like. To, so it's not wrong. I with am that. attracted to femininity. I love I love seeing so okay. see, she energy. likes soft gotcha. niggas. Okay. I love, I do love. I tweeted that and I got cursed out. And I not love for soft nothing. Gotcha. I have a, I have a friend that's naturally soft, and I told him, I said, because you are soft, you don't need hood bitches. 
And you really need to get a softer female because you be getting dogged by these bitches because you're so soft. And there's nothing wrong with being soft. And you know, it's nothing wrong with that. But you need to, you can't be choosing the type of females you choosing because they really Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> <laughs> Where I was about to say, I'm just, it's, it's somebody, listen, wrong it's somebody out man. there for everybody because she's mad sweet and she's mad soft. So her getting that. a soft man, he will get treated great by her. But him being with somebody like me, and I told him, I'm, it's not that I'm a, I know for a fact, I, because you soft and it's not that I mean to, I'm going to walk all over you. I cannot be with somebody like that. Okay, and it's not that so, I intend to. So question, you, 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 you basically were telling a softer man to deal with a softer woman, which I don't think will work anyway, because they both the same thing. I feel like two um, submissives will get along better than two. Like two dominants will never work because we both dominant. I'm not a dominant person though, but two dominants will never work because we both gonna go. We both gonna be pulling our. You know, we both gonna be doing tug of war. Dominant and submissive work because the other one just gonna fall in line. It's like a puzzle piece. Absolutely. And submissive and submissive work because it'll be well. Okay, this time we're gonna try it your way. Next time we're gonna try it my way. I disagree. That, no. No, that's not I disagree, like that. That. I disagree that two submissives will two work. Two submissives will work because they both submissive, so they yeah, both will be willing. Won't work. I agree with Two dominants not gonna work. We're gonna keep butting heads oh. like that all oh. the time. And it's we're not gonna, gonna see who's work. gonna win. There has to be <laughs> we're going to see who's gonna win. Much, bro, we're gonna be fighting all day. That's I'm mad willing toxic. to challenge you because no, I, I know who I am. I'm willing to challenge you. I either way we compromise. It's either a compromise or we're gonna do what I say. You're going to do what I say. So I actually I tell you to be with a submissive. I'm telling you to be with a submissive. Real quick, real quick. I asked that question. You. I, I, <laughs> you. You're dominant, right? You. I'm not a dominant person, but I know I cannot be with a submissive man. My, like, I, I can't. That be, was my next question. Yeah, I'm not dominant. But if you are naturally OD soft, like he's just, he's just very soft. He's my friend, so I'm going to treat him well. But bro. He's a girl. Have you come across a lot of soft niggas in today's society? I have because I feel like I'm very soft. So I, that's what I attract. You think you attract soft niggas because you are soft. Yes. Okay. That's so you, oh, you, you can be with like somebody the, like that? Yes, because I think I have a very good balance of masculinity and femininity. I come off very masculine when I, I step into a room. I don't want to be masculine. But then when I speak, when I express nigga. myself, I'm very feminine, I'm very soft. But when I step into a room, my energy, it's masculine. I have a very good balance of that. Okay. So right. you'll be the leader of the relationship. I am a leader. Yes. Okay. All right. He's a girl. Right, so, a so you see He's yourself being the leader of a relationship and you see yourself wanting a man to lead you. Yeah, like not for okay. nothing. I have my own businesses. Like if I want to lead something and boss something around, why the hell am I going to do that with my man? I don't want right. that. And I don't even feel like I should be bossing anybody around. Leading anybody. I can lead my business and I could do what I want with my business. If I have a partner, I feel like we should be making each other's lives more easier. Like of not, course. I don't want to be button heads and arguing. And if I got my man, like I'm trying to be, listen, cook, clean, I'm not arguing with anyone. So, I will leave. So I have a question Support. for you because you're a rare case. You you say you could be the leader in a relationship. Uh -huh. Um, how? Wait, can I give background though? So you have to take into account. I've only dated women, and even though I've dated women who were more masculine presenting, I was still the more masculine one in gotcha. private. Okay, I was still the leader. I have never been in a heterosexual relationship. I imagine that when I am, that will change. And I'm willing to change dynamics. Gotcha. But for now, if I, I am you. with a woman, I am usually the leader because gotcha. I have okay. the masculine energy. All right. Okay. Gotcha. That's what I was going to ask you. You answered it very clearly. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, <sighs> would you say that people's dating expectations are realistic or delusional? Delusional. 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 Yep. Delusional. A lot okay. of these females right. is very much delusional because I don't know what reality or what La La Land they living in because boy, oh boy. They do no self-work. They don't work on themselves. They don't take a look at themselves and say, who am I as a person? Who am I as a woman? It's just, who am I going to be to this man? Yep. What kind of, no, who are you? Okay. All right. I, gotta bring something to I agree table. with that. I agree with that. And uh, that's, I don't want to make it seem like we attacking women. Yeah, we agree with that. We understand um, I think a lot of them are actually opening up. It's a lot of content on the mm -hmm. internet that's letting them know that. And they are making the adjustments slowly but surely. I want to talk about the men. How do you feel with the men when it comes to that? What was the question again? Do you think men, I mean, do you think people's dating expectations are delusional or valid? Men are delusional. They want you to lay down and suck dick for eight hours, but then you have to go to work for eight hours and then you have to cook for him and then you have to wash all his clothes and then he just looks at you like you're a dummy while you suck dick. No, they are delusional. 
They offer nothing as to what they want. They're not clear on what they want and they do not work on themselves. Okay. Sensational. Tiana, how would you how you feel? Sensational. Uh, I say this 50-50 with that. 50 um what What's on the uh, um? Like I, half? I agree with her like fifty fifty because it is men that's out there that's like that, but mm-hmm. I don't feel like it's all of them. I don't Thank think you. it's all of them. Like Thank I feel you. like yeah, that's I feel hard. like I would like wait. I'm gonna give a disclaimer. I don't think all men are like that. I think it is very rare to meet a man that is not. Okay, all right. And I still could now when you meet opposite. that man, when you meet that man, the rare man, the one that checks all of the boxes, finances in check, in shape, ambitious. Would Everybody you, got a different definition in shape now. Yeah. Would you give him a I threesome? Like fat men. If he checked, no. If he checked all your boxes, Wait. would you give him a threesome? I do not believe in threesomes. I am anti threesomes. Women, stop doing them to appease your man. You're not even gay. Stop. Okay. See, <laughs> stop it. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's very I, I, hard no. for women to disagree with other women. No, she's it's, a, she's no, about it's to not. disagree, but I'm it's hard not for her to do. I'm not I said disagree. So this is my thing. Like I, I'm for threesomes 100. I just don't feel like threesomes is something that should be done with in like people in relationships. I feel like that should be done like amongst like a, like three yeah. um, single people. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like relationships should. I don't feel like anyone in a relationship should do a threesome. Don't do that shit because somebody gonna catch feelings or somebody gonna start fucking the other person behind your back. Now you get mad. Um, okay. Don't do All that right. shit. All right. Okay. Wait. Can we go back for it real quick? Sure. I heard two things. Okay. She like bisexual men, but she anti threesome. That's yes. one. You are there to please me. And she said that she like fat men. I do like fat men. What attracts you? I'm interested. Niggas with big bellies got money. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> These are people you stay away from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, huh, look. But it, it, well, I knew that. We, that was we the already thing. know that anyway. I knew that was the only thing. We already knew that anyway because she said she's masculine and she deals with women anyway. So. She's That's not looking it. for me. Please don't insult she- me. I am looking for men, so. Oh, you are? I never said I wasn't. It's just I don't like them. <laughs> so don't fuck with her. Right, how you know? That is, <laughs> that is <laughs> stop. You scaring them away. Don't. Who's scaring them away? You, you said, scared, yeah, you exactly. just said you look, you're looking for no. them, but you don't like them. There's a man out here that's going to hear all this, and he's going to think I'm the most interesting person ever, and he's going to want to take me on a that's date. That's where you got it wrong, because... I'm not being delusional. Niggas is delusional like that, though, because a nigga will meet you and be like, like you just ain't never meet a man like me yet, or you just didn't talk to me yet. Men meet me and think they're going to break me. They really be like that. They like shit like that. You'll be surprised. Yeah, but that man is weak already, because he's going You're right. Yeah, so... Wait, but it all depends on what he want, though. If he want to take on Most that task. Most men don't know what they want. That's the problem. If he want to take on that task, it's a man out here like, that I will. like a challenge. Yeah. yeah. But to is. make me softer, you have to work on yourself. There, Absolutely. You have, there had to yeah. be years of work because the, the work I've done and Look, the conversations I'm going to have, would, you're going to be mad. I would argue to say that you are the way you are because it's too many bitch niggas in the world. Okay? I agree. My That's, father was the first one. And to piggyback off that. Oh, damn. See? That's you can have her if you come with money. <laughs> it's easy. If you bring money to the table, you can have her. Money is one, yeah, aspect. Money is one aspect. Money speaks you're loud. You're dumb. Money it, is not. And money money can loud. move me an inch, but you're not getting the mile, unfortunately, because it doesn't, anyone can have money. But who are you? True, it's like, true, it, true. It, I have money. You have money. We all, we all go to sleep at night. We have cars. But that does not mean you are this great person that's worthy of being in a relationship. True, right? but that contradicted what you just said. You said How? you like okay, fat you said, niggas because they got, got money. money. You have to have, you have to have money to date. I'm not dating someone that doesn't have their own, right? Because you Very shouldn't true. be dating if you don't have your own. Very true. Point blank base period. Very true, but it made it Agreed. seem like money was a very important factor to you. Money is important. If you do not have money in your relationship, if you do not have anything to pay your bills, you're going to be arguing down each other's neck. I Absolutely, but you just said it was only one inch. I just want women to be the truth. It's not going to move you one inch. It's going to move you a lot. It's not, because I've dated men that have plenty. I would be with them. I would be sucking dick for eight hours, but that is not who I am because I've had the life. I've had, I've traveled. I've done all that. There's nothing that a man can give me that I have not given myself already. Exactly. That's why I'm trying to say men don't fuck with women like this. They don't get satisfied. Ever. Yeah, you have to fuck with a girl that's easy to manipulate. She's had nothing. You throw a brick fuck in with her a girl face, that's she's gonna grounded. bark. No, no fuck with a girl that's grounded in reality. That's what I'm trying to say. How am I not grounded in reality? Because you're saying two different things every time you open your mouth. How am I saying two different things? You're saying I like men, but I don't want the man to 
be able to tell me everything to do. But you, not, but do you understand, like, do you you understand that extreme. not all men are like you, though? I think you are putting yourself as a standard for men. You, I, first of all, you're the first kind of man I met like this. I would not even talk, normally talk to men like you. But what I'm saying is that all men are not like you, which is a very good thing. So, but this idea that you're the standard, you're not the standard of anything. I'm not the standard. I don't know who needs to tell you that. I'm not the standard of women. She's not the standard of women. You're not the standard of a man. So you're not going to tell me I'm, that every single man, wait, pause. You're not going to tell me that every single man is not going to want to deal with me because that's how you are. That's you. I would never, first of all, me and you would never deal with you. We're never, nothing alike. But for you to think that you are the standard and there's no man out there, that's a lie. That's bullshit. You're not going to tell me that. And that's why a lot of women out there hate themselves. There's niggas like you, no offense, telling women who they got to be and how they got to be. You're not going to tell me who I got to be because I know who I am. I'm Precious Kirby and I'm going to walk out of here still Precious. So you can try to define me, put me in a box, say you're not worthy, you're not grounded. Da, da, da. I'm very grounded. I'm a happy woman and I'm very happy to be happy because there's a lot of black women that are not happy because they are stuck listening to men like you and okay. I won't. I'm going based off of, I, I heard everything you said. I'm going based off of the results though. I'm going off of the narrative of what is being said in the communities and on the internet. And I'm just telling people to apply the tactics that I'm giving you, the tactics that other men are giving you to get the result that you want. Because most of the men that I speak to and most of the women that I speak to are not getting what they want. And then when I tell them to change themselves to get what they want, they stay stuck in their ways. That's all I'm saying. I think That's you'll get the person you're supposed to get and you don't have to go through extreme changes and change That's who false. you are about yourself. So automatically, because if you have to change Depending who you are, about I mean, exactly, yourself, you just contradicted yourself because you just said you Depending did say that you, you have to do you have to work on yourself because you're like no, I mean change who you. When I say change yourself, I mean change who you are to the basis. That's like if I'm a writer, I get with a man, he don't like my all my books. I don't want all those books in my house. We can't be together. Oh yeah, no, 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 that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking oh. about like changing. Like no, I'm talking about you change the things about me, little things about me. No, oh yeah, no, no, I'm not saying do that. No, I'm not saying do that. No, don't ever do that. Like but if there are men like, out there if you like, like a weird but approach, you, if he's saying like your approach is off, then he trying to say like, hey, if you're trying to get guys and this is how you're approaching them, maybe we should approach them this way. You might get better luck in getting guys. That's, that's pretty all much I'm saying. Yeah, that's the type that's of advice I'm saying. That you're giving. I'm not saying change who you are at the core. I'm saying you you basically said yourself that you get along and you deal with women more. Right. So if you want the opposite sex, which is what you said, you could see yourself right. in a relationship with a man. You're gonna have to change some shit. That's I all I'm also saying. Also think. Of course. But what I'm saying is that this constant need to adjust myself to get a man is not something that men are taught. Men are not taught from the basis. You got to act like this and this and this and this to get a woman. Absolutely. Kind of that's that's, that's why we're like here. That. That's why we're here. I'm a, no, I'm saying you're having these conversations, but I'm saying the way society, you want to talk about community and society. Do you really think community and society Absolutely tells not. men what they have to do to Absolutely get it? Absolutely not. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's okay. why we're here. No. Thank you. Women Absolutely. are given all these rules. That's my point. I'm, adv I'm not anti-men. I am advocating for women. Women that are constantly told to be quiet, Shut up and suck a dick. No. I mean, it's a difference between that. being silent and being silent. And yeah, yeah and but I, I think, think a, lot lot women, yeah, yeah, a lot of women, a lot of females just don't know extreme. when to be yeah. quiet. I'm when not to saying listen. shut up and suck dick for eight hours. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I don't know where we got that because from. Because I ain't gonna lie, I'll chime in. It's a lot of niggas out here that 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 don't even like that that sex shit every day like that. True. Right. I'm not sure. That eight hour shit, that shit is out of control. Yeah. I don't even I don't even want to fuck five times a week. Like I'm one of them, like. I'm cool with just basketball and shit like that. You got all that energy for basketball? Yeah, because you got all that energy for basketball, but then there, right? But there are some men out there yeah, that it, do want you to do and that. And this is true. But what I'm some saying, bitch exactly. Why, why are we talking about them? That's my Unfortunately, want... that's, that's, that's kind of who's put out there the most, though. Good men are not put on the forefront. Good but, men are not put but out that's there. Not, but that's not our fault. That's what I'm saying. It's not our fault. It's not. I agree. Most women don't appreciate a good man, and they... All right, I don't want to use myself in as an example, but let's just use it since we we don't we barely know each other. But let's just say I consider myself a good man. Most women don't want to deal with me. As soon as I say my boundaries or what I won't tolerate or how I operate in my life, I already know I'm losing ninety percent of women, and that and ninety percent is a big number because women don't know what a good man is. Yeah. That's what I'm. 
That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I agree with until that. They, until they had a fucked up nigga. You'll never know what a good nigga is until you have the fucked up nigga. And then they have the fucked up nigga and they just repeat that cycle and then blame all men. Because that's what they become mm, used to. Yeah, right. I said that. Like a lot of the stuff that women, like I said, or I said it earlier too, a lot of the stuff that women go through and a lot of stuff that the girls be going through is because they're literally putting themselves in the same predicament. Exactly. Like, you exactly. Keep putting yourself in the same predicament. Like you, when are you going to learn your lesson? It's the same, it's like a different person, but same situation every time. Exactly. And we all adults, we all grown, we all got priorities. I'm not going for that trauma. Get the fuck out of here. You're 27 years old. If you're a woman, that, trauma if you're a woman that has been through deep childhood trauma, you need to work on decentering men from your life and work on working on yourself. Agreed. Agreed. Point blank period. Agreed. Anybody with childhood trauma. But most women Point ain't doing period. that. That's what I'm saying. Most women ain't doing that. But my and most is, men too. I want to speak to women, help women do that. That is what well, I and feel that, like my and, purpose And is. that's why we're here today. Exactly. This, I, this is the message we're trying to get. I there. want women to look at themselves and say, "I am worthy," even if I don't have a man. Absolutely, I I agree with I that. that. We just um, need her to start looking at the camera. This episode, saying this. <laughs> <laughs> this episode was uh, it was a little different. We only had a few questions or whatever. We wanted to try the more conversational type, so we're gonna end up making clips out of this. Let us know in the comments how y'all feel about this format. This the Hood Analyst Podcast where we talk about that real hood. Hold now, on. I already know they're going to get angry. I'm going to give them a nice little outro. Tiana, um, she uh, says she got all of her businesses out there. You guys go fuck with her. Precious, she's a very intellectual woman who actually thinks about the world. Um, I really, really admire that. Go fuck with her. I don't know if she posts her writing online or anything like I that. Do. Okay, good. You guys could... Uh, actually, you guys take... Um, say your IGs and all that, and then I'll say the outro and we can get out of here. Uh, my regular personal Instagram is by precious and my podcast Instagram is not so precious pod. Okay. All right. Yeah, and then uh, my personal Instagram is underscore baby face T underscore and all my businesses are in my bio. Cause I got like three different IGs. All right, guys, it's time for the truth. And y'all know how women handle Let's the go. truth. Y'all ready? Oh, it's the outro. Look at their faces, zoom in on the cameras. If y'all need to, to see the, um, reaction from this men, Get your body count up because you know women will never tell you what the fuck they like in bed. You need to get your experience up so when you deal with the woman that you actually want to take serious, you know how to satisfy her. And women, check. <laughs> and women, keep your body count low. And if you can't do that, at least deceive, deceive. the nigga into thinking that it's low. <laughs> he will take you much more seriously. We out. First of all, that was bad advice to give some niggas. Everybody on the different.